Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. Last time, we ended up escaping Makalania Temple only to get into another hairy situation. And in this part, we're taking a break from the plot to go for a little bit of Blitzball in tournament mode. Because the prize for this tournament is Waka's final overdrive, the Auroch Reels. Which unfortunately I only have to go for because you have to get all of Waka's other overdrives before the thing for his ultimate weapon shows up, which is fairly annoying because every overdrive that is not the attack reels sucks. Honestly, why would you use anything other than Waka's attack reels? You can get up to 12 hits with that. You can get up to 12 hits. No other overdrive does as much damage as Waka's overdrive does in the entire game. Why would you ever do anything else? But, as you can tell, it's just me this time because everyone else was unfortunately busy and didn't want to come for the joy that is Blitzball. So, let us proceed. Now, for this one, I decided to do only one match. Yet, yeah, this is still a 15 minute, well, close to 15 minute episode. Why is that? This is a high scoring game, ladies and gentlemen. And I mean a high scoring game. Just to recap, because it's been a while since I've done a Blitzball episode, pretty much everything for Blitzball is still the same. My team is still exactly the same, except you might have noticed I had Rop on my team. I ended up assigning Rop on as early as the Meehan High Road, back when we were at the Rin Travel Agency. Pretty much everyone has leveled up enough to where they're able to get quite a few shots, such as Titus here being able to do the Jack shot. There is a Jack shot too that you can get, but unfortunately, for some odd reason, it said that I couldn't learn it, so I wasted my time with that one, which is why you're not seeing that footage. Also, just as a recap for the prizes, when it comes to the overdrives that Waka can get, it alternates between a league and between a match in which you can end up getting it. Well, by match, I mean tournament. So at first, the one that I didn't show, the attack reels, you could end up getting as early as the end of Luka through the tournament mode. After that, it goes into a league after you battle, I believe it's 350 random battles and it's cumulative over time not 350 in a row it's cumulative and then after that you're able to do the final one which are the auroch reels so that's pretty much everything so venom tackle uh dado has unfortunately been poisoned and luckily though we have enough to shoot so go whitey go now put this guy to sleep never mind you can make a shot that's perfectly fine so, it's barely the first quarter and already we have two shots in. This is going to be a high scoring game, ladies and gentlemen, because we need to make sure that the Luka Goers get shut out every single time. Yes, because if you couldn't tell, these are the Luka Goers. The Luka Goers have been uh, messing around quite a bit with their team formations and their team in general. So, keep that in mind as you progress through Blitzball. Other players will get assigned that generally aren't on the team. Very rarely does the AI keep certain players. But let us do Venom Tackle. And he's been poisoned and withered. Perfect. Unfortunately, his shot wasn't withered, which is what we needed. So let's go after Abbas because Abbas is trying to go for a shot and we can't allow that to happen. Oh, no siree. And he's going for the shot. So. We're going to go with the net tackle. So close. And we're going to go for a normal tackle. So, Titus grabs the ball again. And let us head on now towards the opposing side's goal. Because, let's face it, once I get my jack shot set up, I'm perfectly fine. And let us dribble. Because I have more than enough endurance to endure anything that these people try to throw at me. Yeah, Titus is pretty good, but he does cap off on his shot eventually, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's just do a normal shot. No need to do anything fancy or anything like that. And goal! It's barely the first quarter, and we're up three points to nothing. This is like in soccer. 
pretty much when it comes to blitz ball. You shouldn't be able to score this quickly, but I'm using the base team for the Aurochs, ladies and gentlemen. They are considered one of the worst teams in the Blitzball League, and I'm still able to easily maneuver everything through them. This is rather sad, to say the least. I mean, I make the Aurochs look amazing, and this is why you don't use the auto system in the game. Now, what is he trying to do? He's trying to shoot. Okay, what's the AI doing? That's pretty dumb. Especially because he only broke one of us. And our block equals... Okay, I guess our block equaling that of the catch. Why are you going super goaling, Keepa? Keepa, that is not necessary. Why do you give them hope? But Letty gets the ball, since Letty is alone in the field. For once, the AI made an actual good decision. So, let's wait for... Dato, I believe is who I'm going to pass it to. So, wither pass. Let's go to Whitey. Go, Whitey. All right, so Blagerda couldn't get it. So now it's Dato's turn to make another shot. Let us break you. Shoot. Nap shot. Uh-oh, nap tackle. Oh, thank goodness. That could have put us to sleep. That would have been bad. And goal. We are up 4 to 0 against the Luka Goers. The legendary Luka Goers. The Luka Goers who were outright douchebags to us earlier in the game. Isn't karma a great thing, ladies and gentlemen? So, let us get the ball back again. We can't let you have that ball now. Oh, Graf. You think that you're allowed to have the ball? Okay, now you're giving it to Bixen. Bixen actually has a good enough shot, but unfortunately, it is halftime. So, let us see who levels up. No one. And look at my levels. Titus is at level 28, when the average level for most teams is still barely at close to 20. That's ridiculous. Now, normally I'd be using Rop a bit more, but Rop's going to get dropped from the team soon, unfortunately, because, let's face it, Rop's not as good as later members that we can end up getting. And this is actually going to mark the last time we're actually going to be seeing the base team of the Aurochs, because what I'm doing is, for the last one, since it's going to be a league, if I don't get the prize, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to do the reset trick. Now, what is the reset trick? If you reset your Blitzball data and you need to get a prize that you want, chances are when you reset the data, then you'll be able to get the prize instantly to show up. Problem is, you will end up losing all of your techniques, all of your base stats, and everything that you have built up to this point will be gone because you are resetting everything in terms of stats. So make sure that you don't have anything that you want to, you know, keep with. If you want to keep your blitz ball levels, that's all fine and good. However, if you're not careful, then, you know, you can find yourself in a bad situation. And unfortunately, just basically this, make sure that you save before you do the reset trick. You can do the reset trick as many times as you want in order to get the prizes you want. But in the end, you will still have to play a minimum of at least 25 Blitzball games in order to get all the prizes in Blitzball for Waka. And this is not going to go out well for me at all. So let us just normally shoot. Okay, so missed. All right, so that's grab. Venom Tackle. Misses. Oh my god, is this actually going to work? Oh my goodness. I had to end up hitting the pass. I could have shot. And that would have been perfectly fine. Don't you just hate it when that happens? When you're at the perfect shot, but then you end up messing up. So, let's get this ball out of Jasu's hands. Go and throw it over to Whitey here. Go, Whitey. Go, Whitey. Go. Go and make the shot. 
All right, so we got two people to break. I'm gonna shoot just normally. Tackle slip. Very good to have. Uh-oh, nap tackle two. Oh no. Well, at least it didn't put Dado to sleep. That would have made things a little bit more complicated. Okay, one man breakthrough. Luckily my attack's good, so wither tackle. And Letty gets the ball yet again. So let's give this ball, say, to, I don't know, Titus, maybe? Uh, I can break you. We're going to pass the ball normally. Uh-oh. Luckily, we didn't get weathered. Otherwise, we'd be in trouble. So let us catch back up to the Guado here. You know, considering everything that goes on, with the Guado, I'm surprised that uh, they're not more pissed with us. We kind of killed their leader in the last part. Well, two parts ago, actually. All right, so let's use Venom Tackle. Surprisingly not getting any of the status ailments that are going on for this. I'm surprised that I've managed to shoot this many times and not do it. But we've got two people here. We're going to shoot. Jack shot. Get out of here. Good. Bye. People. Time to shoot. Because it's been three minutes, and it's time we go. So, there we go. Meet the final score of this game. Zero to five. But, Roxas, you still have another three minutes left. Yes, I know I still have another three minutes left. <sighs> Don't worry. Hopefully in the future, Blitzball, I'll have other people to commentate with. This is honestly hard for me to commentate over. It's why I don't do sports games. Because, one, I'm not a big fan of sports games. Two, I'm just uh, not really good at commentating over sports. Because, I mean, yay. You pass the ball. You shoot the ball. Somebody took the ball. That's all it boils down to for me. Which shows my skills as a commentator. So, darn it, I was hoping that that would make him go to sleep. But why did you try to shoot when somebody has a 13 block? Okay, when that 13 block misses, that's when it's a problem. But luckily, Keepa still got it. So who's Keepa going to pass it to? He's going to pass it to a person who is right next to Grav. He's going to pass it to Boda. Of all people, you're going to pass it to Boda. Really? Why would you do this? All right, we're going to pass it. But luckily, it's gonna, well, not really luckily. Unfortunately, it's going to go and Bulgarda is gonna claim the ball. So let us go get Bulgarda. All right, nap tackle. Good night. Good job, Jasu, good job. Now go and give it to Titus or somebody. So let us get that pass. Because we're coming down just to the end of this game, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's pass it to Titus. See if we can get one last shot in. Nope, we're not going to get one last shot in. So, victory is ours. Zero to five, ladies and gentlemen. The almighty Luka Goers are playing as bad as the Chargers. It pains me to live in San Diego sometimes, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, people leveled up. Letty is now level 24, and Jasu is now level 19, getting more pass and more block. But, as always, contracts run out, and new contracts are formed. Five to zero. But the winner of the tournament are the Besaid Aurochs, with Titus being the one who scored the most. And Besaid Aurochs finished number one, so our prize is the Overdrive, the Auroch Reels, and we can learn regen. So let's give that to Keepa. And we obtain the trophy Blitzball Master. That's for winning, I believe, at least 20 or 25 games. It's for it's for winning something, but it's one of the only trophies that we'll get. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. Next time, we're continuing with the plot back at the desert. So see you all next time.